Hello everybody, Noob Noob here. Um, today I'm going to be talking another about, um, another badly rated movie. And I, in this series I basically just give my opinion on the movie and see if it really deserved the ratings that it got. So, this is, this is part two, or episode two. If you want to call it that. This week we're talking, or this, th today uh, we're talking about Biodome. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe. Um, hit that like button, it really helps. And uh, hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And uh, if you're new and hit subscribe, please comment down below that you subscribed. And then uh, I'll mention you at the end of the video. Okay, enough rambling. Time for the review. Biodome. Biodome is a a comedy movie made in 1996, featuring Polly Shore and Stephen Baldwin. Um, Biodome is basically about uh, two stoners uh, ending up in a scientific experiment called the biodome where they're stuck in there for one year and they have to at the end they have to still have 100 percent homeostasis and basically they just and it, they screw around you know and uh okay i'll r list some of the problems of the movie um pacing there are some scenes that i feel like really were rushed because the pacing was kind of bad like there are moments where the it just jump cuts into like random scenes you know and it's really because sometimes because of that, the scene gets kind of confusing and weird. Um, second problem are the actors, Polly Shore and Stephen Baldwin. I'm not saying they're bad actors, it's just that they, uh, in the movie, I think they went a little too far. Because they acted like complete dumbasses it like i get to her that they were supposed to be stoners but they were acting a little too stupid for my taste and also there are parts in the movie that would make you cringe because and like that's another problem is that like some of the shit they do you can't even understand what the hell they're saying. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, um, this it got a four percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and then it got a fifty-one percent audience score. And it is known as one of the worst comedy movies of all time, despite being one of the worst. Uh. That it's got a pretty high audience score, fifty-one percent, which is pretty damn high for a movie that's declared one of the worst. Like four percent's dog shit. Fifty-one percent, like fifty-one percent isn't good, but it's not terrible. Um, what else is bad about the movie? Hmm. Um, had a lot of, uh, it wasn't super, super funny. Like, there were some parts that were funny, but overall it kind of wasn't. Because a lot of it is just stupid humor. And that's what they relied on. And some sometimes it was gross out humor. And not because I, I watched the whole movie. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd be ripping my hair out, but I thought it was a 
pretty, it, I wouldn't say it was a good movie, but I wouldn't call it a bad movie. And that's probably one of the, the movies that really derailed Pauly Shore's career, because his, his career is om probably, like, almost over by now, because, uh, he doesn't star in many movies. Stephen Baldwin is still thriving. Not his brother, though. Um, and they they had some pretty good uh, cast members, like well-known ones, you know. Mm. Well, if you like this video, um, hit that like button. Like I said, um, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications, and uh, next time I'm probably going to do a video on Master of Disguise, and then after that I'm probably going to do one on Chairman of the Board, but until next time, this is by my review.